Pleasant afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another audio. And this is called Look on the Bright Side. There are three principles, of course, that I want to deal with. And my scripture is coming from John 14, verses 6. And Jesus saith unto them, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you right now for your word. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your protection, mighty God. Thank you, Lord God, for your blessing, Lord God. I thank you for your spirituality in me, mighty God. Lord, I pray for your protection over this audio, Lord God. Thank you for clarity, edification, Lord God. And let your words of comfort be spoken through me, mighty God, that it will bring clarity to your people. Bless and keep us, mighty God. We bind up those, mighty God. We come against backsliding spirits out of this group, mighty God. We come against the, the enemy, mighty God, that operates against the self-control of others, mighty God. And I ask, Lord God, that you, O Lord, be a strength and a shield right now. According to Psalms 91, you said you'll give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up with your hands, lest I dash my foot against the stone. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your blessing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Everyone. I thank God for him being my audience. <laughs> Interestingly, I think I write to an audience of one irrespective that I write to a number a number of of people or readers. I really write to an audience of one and I thank God for those who listen to me. God bless you all. God bless your hearts um for being part of this and the thing is you know i try to just focus on the lord a lot when i'm trying to speak because god is a good god and he enables me to do all things through christ who gives me strength amen so this one is called looking on the bright side because interestingly may is mental health month and we want to be aware that hey it's very important to stay positive it's very important not to entertain those negative thoughts. But it's very important to understand that if you have an issue with depression or anxiety or any sort of mental health issue, you have to remember that you need to stay, look on the bright side and stay with God in all things. Amen. You're not to be giving yourself to bashing or the bashing of others or to be gossipy of others, but you have to stay within the confines of the word of God so you can know what to do because many things in life requires you to think positive, to not shy away from the word of God, but to grow in maturity with the word of God, to get clarity in everything that you do. So there are a couple of points that I want to um, speak to. And it has to do with um, the principles as it relates to being positive and staying on the bright side. Amen. The first principle is clarity. Always be a person of clarity you can have clarity in your mind you can have clarity in your heart clarity in your thoughts especially clarity in your emotions and your soul is the very important place to have clarity and your soul consists of um the your will your your will your mind and your emotions you must have clarity you must know the way that god wants you to go you must know that um, it's not normal for you to be concentrating on one thing for extended periods of time which means you that might be some sort of a lust or some sort of fantasy lust or something that is not of you amen that's not of god right god bless you and you know god is showing so you want to remember to stay in clarity you know sometimes i repeat my uh aff my affirmations you know uh, according to the word of god because the word of god wants you to get that word in your heart that he's the truth and is and he's my light and he's my salvation and he's my comfort and he's my he's my strength amen 
So you have to remember that when it comes to your soul, you have to know what is operating in your soul. Amen. You have to know that you have to stay grounded in everything that you are doing. You have to be wise unto Christ. Amen. So the second quality or the second principle is examine the reasons for your complaining. Examine the reasons why you complain. <laughs> Complaining can be easy, however, it doesn't get you where it doesn't get what you get you what you want. If you are safe, sanctified Christian, it means no contestant. <laughs> what it means is when you are safe and sanctified Christian, um, God, it it is not God to allow things to happen to you that are outside of his will. But he also said to you in his word that if the world hated him, they would also hate you. However, you cannot allow yourself to complain. You now have to step back, examine your reasons, be a, a Christ representative, be an ambassador for Christ. You have to remember that it's about God at the end of the day. Amen. You have to be upright in yourself from all things. Stay above and not beneath. Just encourage yourself in the Lord. Know that you can do a good job regardless of what the price is going to be. at the end of the day. Because the, the, at the end of the day, Jesus and Satan has, you know, it's a contestant, it's a battle for your soul. However, Jesus has already won. I have already won that battle, you know, so you have to remember that out of this world, Christ has called you out of Egypt, Christ and um, God called his son, Jesus Christ. So you have to at times give up Egypt. Amen. Many others greater than yourselves have had to give up Egypt because there's nothing there. You can only stay in Egypt for but such a lot, such a time. Amen. Such a lofty place, actually. However, God did not call you to be there. Amen. You have to bring the, the skills and the lessons and the teachings and the wisdom and the, the writings and the, the you know, the visions that God has given you in those places and you have to bring it to yourself and have that happiness and joy with you when you step into other places to not love the things of the world but to embrace holy things amen right now I'm listening to um R.M. Shambok and sometimes it's not for a lack of strength why, you know, you don't do battle with the enemy. Let me just, you know, test waters carefully. It's not for a lack of strength. It's just that if God is not calling you to war, he's calling you to be praiseworthy. He's calling you to be a person of thanksgiving. Amen. It's no, it's not the, no, it's not the time for you to walk with walk, bend it down and worrying about no about things or uh, where this is gonna come in, come from. Owning your own home or paying off your bills. No, God is calling you to look on the bright side. If there's a negative, there's a positive. Amen. You cannot allow yourself to be. Um, entangled with the things of this world just continue to be mature and be spiritually minded and god will show you amen he always does the third principle is get um sorry the third principle is to focus on your dream and keep moving in your own lane because and here why i say because when you keep moving in your own lane in your own lane, it is easier to move in your own lane. In someone else's lane, there are stumbling blocks, put it that way. However, God promises that he will remove every stumbling block, don't it? So when God says he's going to remove every stumbling block, it means that nothing can stand in the way of God. Amen? Ma, I do physical workout to... to Grew myself into the lifestyle of, of health and fitness and, and staying sharp. So I'm for about almost three months now, I've been hectically working out and it's a reshaping, not just of the physical body, but of the mind. Amen. So it means that there are times when I'm lifting 
I'm lifting something or lifting a weight. And I started out at five pounds. So no, uh, now I've been at 10 pounds. And to lift those weight requires me to actually get my mind up to God and say, you know what, God, I can do this. I can do this. It doesn't matter how heavy this thing feel. The winds can help me. The God of strength can help me. Amen. And when I lift it up, I'm able to sometimes go one more over, two more over, just go a little bit higher. Amen. Uh, Michelle Obama has said a quote and it says, when they go low, you go high. Amen. I must go high. There are times when they're competing circumstances and there's a, a spirit of competition. But guess what? That spirit of competition is actually rooted in hate. You have to know how to trace it. It's actually a hate spirit. So don't matter the fruits that you might see, you have to look to the root and know why something started. And there are times when you have to check your own self and say, you know what? If, uh, if there's a, a little envy or jealousy towards anything or anyone, why did it start? You know, you have to check yourself and see, you know, God, do I have any envy? Do I have any hate? Do I have any, you know, anything in my heart that is not of God? And praise God over the circumstance. Yeah, amen. So now that God has given you that revelation, you have to remember that sometimes when these things happen, do not allow yourself to be troubled. Amen. Walk in the way of God, walk in his principles, walk in his truth. Because he said, God said to me, once I honor his commandments, if he be for me, who can be against me? Who can be against me? What can stand against God in me? Amen. So you all just have to guard your spirit from anything that is not of you and guard your house, guard your family. Amen. And guard what you say to others so that you can be a light that they have not seen. Amen. Sometimes you have to let God deal with things so that he will cover you. Because if God anointed you, no one can stop you. Amen. When the enemy thinks that, hey, they have had the victory and whatever, God says, you know what? You cannot be ashamed of the gospel. If you are ashamed of God and if you cannot represent God, he will deny you. Jesus will deny you before his father. Amen. So stay with God means you have to continue to bring your prayer requests to God and stay, your, stay focused on God. Don't let the enemy try to put nothing on you. You continue to dream big, speak the word of God. Amen. And remove all sort of deceit or any iniquity from before your face. Amen. Finally, I just want to end um, with God. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for your word. Because you said in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5, it says, he, hey, he is only, he is only concerned about your future. Amen. So I just want you to focus on 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. Let me just read that for you really quick before you go. Amen. God bless you. So 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring in into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ Jesus. So you have to capture and cast down. This means you have to pull down imaginations, pull down those ugly thoughts and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. And what is the obedience of Christ? Every single word of God that is written in this in this holy bible right before me that is the obedience of god when you can put your eyes on the word of god when you can boast in the word of god when you can know that if you boast in jesus jesus will boast you amen so you have to always have a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is 
fulfilled in Christ. Amen. So don't look on your outward appearance, my brothers and sisters. Keep your head on Christ. Amen. Look unto his commandments. Know that he is the final authority to what must you be destroyed too you have to understand that you cannot be terrified by anything and no you will not be demonized because you have to understand that the fruit of the spirit is therefore more powerful than the works of the flesh because when you use the fruit of the spirit against which there is no law amen and when you are walking in the glorious law of liberty you cannot be affected by anything that is going to corrupt you god bless you it is well all is well in jesus name god bless